What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does a crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. It's that brave queen of life. I'm your most days, should you return. You require my services. services. Another time, no doubt. We'll be enlarging the stable. You've no reason to be cool, boy. Hello! Help, Help me, damn it! We're short on time. Aye. There will be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind the blood samples we take? Torres tells us that blood is required for the observatory. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the king's blood to do so. In other words, all sums of the blood give you access to the man. Everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on my own? Or just giving him a sample of life? As will all Templar. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. 
Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. Not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago, and so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. Give me something. You know what to do.
What measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. Hmm. One of the sages was... Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a strict duty. Slave galley? I have to be best yourself. I failed to see the difference between slaves, some men, and women. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow him. Naturally. A fair point, Grandmaster. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and it's natural. Africa we look Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochran. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. Idiots trying to lose us! <laughs> 